Hello, good day, everyone. I hope everything is going well with you. And I welcome you back to our subject, Purposive Communication Using English in Multilingual Contexts. And I hope that you are in a comfortable seat wherever you are watching this pre-recorded video. And now let's proceed with our lesson for Unit 4, which is all about the communication for various purposes. And this unit is composed of five, uh, six lessons. And these are the following. First is the explanation essay. Lesson two is the blog. It's lesson three, uh, research-based argumentative essay. Lesson four, the oral presentation. Lesson five, the debate. And the last discussion, which is all about the lesson six, which is the literature as communication. Okay. So let's start with our learning outcomes in lesson one, the explanation essay. <clears throat> our first learning outcome is to demonstrate an understanding of the conventions of the explanation essay. Second is to appreciate the value of clearly explaining a phenomenon. And lastly, to write an explanation essay of at least 500 words on a topic of your choice. Okay, so expected nga maghimo mo og explanation essay. So let's start with writing an explanation essay. Why? Why questions are very important. Nga no kaha ka ang why questions are very important. So if people in an ancient times or the recent past did not ask why questions or attempt to answer these questions, we would have a very limited knowledge about many things in our world. So I have the question here on board. Why, why questions are very important? Again, why, why questions are very important? So I want you to comment your answer in the comment section where I posted this pre-recorded video in just two to three sentences only. The question is, why why questions are very important? And within two days lang po, uh, validity of your answer kung when na ko siya post. I hope that's clear. So asking we, we all know that asking questions it help us or it helps you motivate curiosity about the topic and the same time um, it helps you to assess your understanding of certain materials and that is why the why question is very important so to go deeper why this question on board is very important so let's move to the next slide. Why why questions are very important? Because being able to ask and answer students' questions is an important part of teaching and learning. Thus, we ask question why because of our curiosity judge or being conscious of that certain matter. Dili man ta makaasog question kung dili ta curious kung wala tay mga clarification or concern either. Diba? That is why we ask question because of our curiosity. And in explanation essay, we have a statement here. If Isaac Newton, for example, did not ask why things fell down after throwing them up, then Newton he would not have discovered the law of universal gravitation. And we all know that the law of universal gravitation is one of the most important and fundamental laws in classical physics. And that is an example of asking a question. So you don't need to afraid, you don't need to be afraid of asking why questions. Be verbose. Feel, feel free to participate. Feel free to ask questions para ang imuhang mga curiosity or imuhang pagka-conscious na pagkatao matubag ang imuhang mga pangotan. And that things happen. I hope that's clear. Next. 
Addressing why questions means providing an explanation for phenomena or in any situation. An explanation is say is one such example of a written piece of work that addresses why questions. Yes, it is correct that the why question is very important in an explanation essay because when you are going to assemble a topic, you have that question in your mind, nga nung ka na ang imuhang gipili nga topic. And nga nung society, nga nung corruption, nga nung politics. With that, you can see that why question is very relevant. You cannot proceed with your explanation essay without asking yourself nga nung ka na, nga, nga, nga title, ang imuhang, uh, imuhang choice. Diba? Even in your studies, you can ask yourself nga nung nabagsak man ko ani nga subject. Nga nung nagkuha ko og medtech, nagkuha ko og uh, teacher nga course, teaching course, nursing, or whatever it is. Diba? We ask question because we want to address them. And nga nung wala, like for example, nga nung wala, o nga nung wala ka nakasabit sa mga activities sa Google Classroom. Oh, and that is why he ask even question, uh, ask even question, ask yourself nga nung wala ka naka-answer sa ito ang mga activities on Google Classroom or whatever it is. Nga nung na-late ka, pagpasa, inana ra siya ka simple class. Makapangutana hmm. dita nga nung anong ni-exist na siya nga mga butan. Okay? And that is the essence of writing an explanation essay with a why, why questions. Next. It explains a particular topic to its reader. Yes. Since explanation is saying it is meant to inform or educate the readers, the, uh, the essay should present a convincing and adequate support for the explanation. And also, in writing an explanation essay, you should have a supporting details to make your piece reliable and you should maintain the current topics or the hot topics. And, di ba, mas maingan nyo ta na ay uban readers, nga maing, mas maingan nyo sa mga uh, latest nga mga news or mga whatever it is, kanang mga, uh, mga past years, naana lang ang mga gap or proximity sa kana ng mga news, di ba? Dapat ato siyang um, you should maintain the current topics jud or kanang ginatawag nila ng mga hot topics. Because ano? <laughs> because ano? <laughs> because ang uh, ang explanation say it describes your opinion on something. The ideas of another person, a process to follow, or an event uh, that has taken place. Di ba? Rather than Criticizing the criticizing the information or debating its validity, and your simple uh, in your simple explanation, it make it easier for you. Uh, it, it yes, it makes easier for you as well as to your reader to understand your um, explanation essay. So we have here on board the parts of an essay. So first we have the introduction. So what is an introduction? It is an introductory paragraph. It's the first paragraph in an essay. It contains two parts, sentence structure. One is sila ang general statement and the thesis statement. So let's start first with the general statement. General statement, a few sentences about your subject that Catch the attention of your reader. Again, ha? catch the attention of your reader. So, ang gen uh, general statement, ang, sent uh, ang sentence ani, nag-contain siya o, uh, it contains the overview of the whole essay and it uh, and it captures the audience and terrace. Di ba? Kaya ang gibutang din hi, ah? catch the attention of your um, reader. Ah. Next, we have the thesis statement. One sentence that tells your reader the main points of your topic and states the overall plan of your essay. So in short, an thesis statement, 
uh, it state uh, again uh, it state the specific topic contains the focus of your topics and it tells your reader what the what the essay is going to be about and that is the thesis statement while these two parts of introduction the general statement and the thesis statement uh, it is a uh, it is a sentence structures that play an important role in writing a paper without a thesis statement can end up poorly organized with no central argument i hope nga ma sulod na siya sa inyo ha una huna again ha writing a paper without a thesis statement or a general statement can end up poorly organized with no central argument. The next part of an essay is the body paragraph. A body consists of one or more paragraphs following the introduction. Each paragraph supports the main idea of your essay by breaking it down into smaller ideas or subtopics, and that is the body paragraph. Next, we have the conclusion. The conclusion paragraph is the last paragraph in the essay. It completes the essay by summarizing or repeating the most important ideas. So um, conclusion can also be include an opinion, a prediction, or a solution to a problem. And that is the conclusion. Okay, now let's proceed with the, with the principles of effective written communications or the seven C's. I know I'm going to discuss na natin ni, uh, in the past lessons ang seven C's. At alam siyang i-insert kay uh, relate man siya sa to ang discussion for today. So principles of effective written communication. First, be clear. Be clear about your message. Always be guided by your purpose in communicating. Dinakay natin siya i-explain. I-watch lang to ang katong pre-recorded video na ko nga last lessons para mag-guided yapon mo sa principles of effective written communication. Kaya ako lang siyang ibalik again kay inline siya or relate siya sa to ang topic for today. Be concise. Ano na? Always stick to the point and do not do bit or run it around the bush. Be brief by focusing on your main point. Be concrete. Support your claims with enough facts. Your reader will easily know if you are bluffing or deceiving them because there is nothing to substantiate your claims. Fourth, be correct. It is important that you observe grammatical correctness in your writing. Always have time to revise and edit your work. Even simple spelling errors may easily distract your readers. Fifth, be coherent. Your writing becomes coherent only when you convey a logical message. The ideas should be um, connected to each other and related to the topic. Make sure that you observe a sound structure that will present a smooth flow of your ideas and use a transitional or cohesive devices so that the ideas cohere with one another. And that's the principles of effective written communication. Be coherent, be complete, include all um, necessary and relevant information so that the audience will not be left wanting of any information. Always place yourself in the shoes of the audience or your readers who is always interested to receive a new information and the last we have this be cautious the tone of your writing should be friendly avoid any overtone undertone or insinuation to eliminate confusion and misinterpretation and that's the seven c's of the principles of effective written communication and that's the end of our discussion in Unit 4, Lesson 1. I hope that you learn and enjoy something new for our lesson for today. Thank you so much, everyone, and see you next time. Thank you.